really need to change my whole mind. So while I do that, I'll just explain about my hat. Um, you will notice that uh, I'm wearing a fine hat. And in fact, it's not, it's not really my hat. Because I had a hat, and I'd say it's similar to this, similar in colour, but it was actually a straw hat. And I got it in Australia when I was uh, uh, visiting my brother with my son there last year. But I was busking, as I do from time to time, in Lincoln, in Berlin, and um, I was at Stoneboat, which is a fairly famous uh, landmark. And lo and behold, someone walked past, and actually lifted my hat and I disappeared with it, jaunted down the uh, down high street. Now, I didn't actually pursue him for two reasons. One, I knew he was drunk because I'd spoken to him earlier, and two, I was in the uh, final throes of um, playing Bob Dylan's tambourine match, so I thought I'd finish that off. And to be honest, I thought he was going to turn him back and bring the hat back, so I thought he was just in good shape, he never did. Um, so I actually uh, caught him on camera because just like now this young man's helping out filming me, I had a friend of mine out there at Stone filming. So he's now on YouTube, so if you want to check him out, oh actually he's now locked up behind bars because uh, the police were able to identify him. And uh, as I understand it, the police is supposed to be in court this week. And uh, happened a couple of weeks ago. So there's a, a tale for you. So I'm very grateful to that gentleman called Steve Glover, who gave me this hat. Thank you, Steve. Right, so let's play you a song that you should... I think they're good, I got them. <laughs> 